Hi, Valder. How are you? Good day, Ryan Devlin. Thank you so much for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate it. I'm excited. How's Texas? Wonderful. <laughs> and remember, it's a whole nother state <laughs> all by itself. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm so excited to talk with you so my audience will know today that I'm talking with Ryan Devlin. He's best known for his role in Sisters and Brothers, but he's here today with something different. He wants to ask you, are you the one? This is his new show. Ryan, tell me about Are You the One on MTV. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, Are You the One is um, it's a dating competition show with a huge twist. So... Uh, the, the basic concept is we take 10 guys and 10 girls from all over the country who suck at dating. I mean, they can't find their perfect match if it walked right up and smacked them in the face. And in fact, we give them that opportunity on the show. We take these people and we find their perfect match. We bring them into a house in Puerto Rico this season. And it's a beautiful mansion. It's everything that you'd ever dream of. And we tell them, hey, your perfect match is here. The problem is... You don't know who it is. And so it's up to them over the course of the series to date people and talk to people and try and figure out what they've been doing wrong and find who their perfect match is. And if they all get it right, if they all lock in with their perfect match, not only do they find love, but they get a million bucks. And what if we everybody say, locks in, everybody has to lock in with the perfect match for the million bucks? That's right, Valder. Everybody has to get it right. Ten out of ten. In the first season, in fact, they figured it out. In episode nine, they got all of their matches correct. They won the million bucks. One of our couples got engaged and is having a baby. The, the actual show works. The concept works. And what we're seeing now in season two, we're a few episodes in. Uh, it's Mondays at 10 o'clock on MTV. Um, is, you know, they're, they're trying to figure it out right now. Now, the show could end at any minute. If they lock in with me on a Monday night and they all figure it out, boom, that's a million bucks right there and they're gone. They found love and money. Otherwise, it's right back to the house to try and figure out who was right and who was wrong. There's a lot of backstabbing and jealousies. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of love triangles. It's pretty much everything you'd want to see in a television show. <laughs> Why do they choose you to host it? I was watching another game show with Sherry Shepard, and I'm going like she's a dichotomy to host that show. So why did they choose you to host this show? Well, um, that's a good question. You know what? I try not to look a, a gift horse in the mouth, but um, we'll, let, let me try to assess right now. Well, um, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of the demographic. I went through a bunch of really bad relationships. I, I found people who were not right for me, and sometimes it would just last a couple of weeks. Sometimes it would last a year. And then finally, I did find my perfect match, and I grabbed her and I married her. And uh, so I think, you know, I get to speak from uh, a, a point of empathy with these kids that are there and they're trying to f figure it out. I can relate to them because I've been through it, but I've also kind of stepped out of it and I have a little bit more perspective now. Um, and maybe I'm also just a, a little bit crazy too. And I like to put them through um, some of the crazy challenges that we put them through. I mean, we, we, we tie them up on the beach and do huge tug of wars. We throw them down waterfalls on rappel lines. You know, we send them up on jet skis and all sorts of crazy stuff. And I, I'm kind of the guy that gets to pull all the strings for that. Okay, so you got a lot going on. You're hosting the show. Are you the one on MTV? And also, too, you aren't you on Jane the Virgin on CW? Yes, I am. I'm I'm busy on Monday nights, so it's Jane the Virgin Mondays at nine, and and Are You the One Mondays at ten uh, on MTV. And um, yeah, Jane the Virgin's a really special show. You know, it's a one hour. It's kind of a dramedy. It's it's basically like a telenovela. And uh, Gina Rodriguez, who plays Jane, uh, she's the lead. She's really, really special. Um, uh, I think, you know, a, a star is born with her, and so I'm very fortunate to be a part of that cast, and I get to play a bad guy, so it's always fun to play a bad guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have a bad guy look, so I don't know how you pull that one off. <laughs> well, I appreciate, well, I appreciate it. Maybe it. Maybe that's what, Maybe helps, that's what helps me. Helps me. And well, okay, so you want us to watch Are You the One? I can't believe they're making a match of all the people in the houses because people are so fickle. Well, you know, it's it's just like the real world, you know, it's it's we find the characteristics and the traits that would um, dictate a perfect match. And, and it's an exhaustive search. It's a thousand question questionnaire. It's matchmakers, psychologists, interviews with friends and families and coworkers. We really put a lot of work into finding these matches. But what you do after you meet them is entirely up to you. I mean, there's all these things that you can't take into account, like chemistry and and first impressions and maybe the other competition in the house and all of these things. So it's really interesting to watch this experiment play out on TV and it really is an experiment. Um, and there's a lot of fireworks that come from it. But 
as we proved in the first season, you know, we find some matches that stick and, and we really do make it work with a success rate far better than The Bachelor, for example. So, you know, it's um, whether you tune in for a guilty pleasure or you turn in, tune in to learn something about yourself, you know, there's kind of something for everybody and uh, it's, it's a crazy ride and it could end at any moment. So that's another reason to watch because they could win it on Monday, this Monday at 10 or next Monday at 10. You never really know. So it's, um, it's something to, to check out every week, I think. Well, you talked about it very well, so I can't, I'm excited to take a look at it, and I haven't seen it, I'm very honest on my show, but I'm looking forward to it just because of you. You're such a good salesman for the show. Valder, you gotta, you gotta tune in. You gotta grab a bucket of popcorn and tune in tonight. I will be tuning in, Ryan. <laughs> know that I will be watching tonight because I think it's a fascinating concept, and I know you're a great host. Well, thank you so much. You're a great interviewer, and uh, it's, I, I look forward to doing this again. Thank you for having me on. Please come back when they choose their perfect mates. I don't know how you guys do it, but come back and tell me about that. Thank you, Ryan Devlin. Thank you. Will do.